Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or Storm will bring this video on my channel once again. Now in today's Crunker video, we're going to be talking about what it takes to hit level 100 in Crunker. Now obviously it takes getting level 100 to get level 100, but we're more or less going to be talking about the process. We're going to be talking about how much XP it takes, how many games it would take, how long it took me, and how long it could take you. Now I originally came up with this video idea around July, because that's when I hit level 100, but for some reason I was just ever so slightly terrified to make this video because math has always been my my weakest subject like everything after multiplication and division i just can't do like i was in algebra 1b for example which is like the most basic version of algebra so with that being said if any of these numbers are wrong in this video i am sorry but at least to me they make sense in my head so hopefully they make sense inside of your head <laughs> but like i said i thought of this video idea in around july when i first hit level 100 but now i am almost level 111. And to be fair, I don't play this game a whole lot. I know it's like technically my job and stuff, but I really just play it when I'm streaming or making videos. But there are some other people out there like Strims, for example, who is level 300, who levels up a few times a day. And at the end of the video, we're even going to be talking about the fastest way you could hit level 100. Like what is the fastest time you could do it in? If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please leave a like on this video and also subscribe. I upload Crunker all the time. So if you guys like Crunker and Crunker content alike, like, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications and never miss a Crunker video from your boy. And then finally, if you guys will be buying Crunkies from the Crunker item shop, please use creator code Sorable. It is by far the best way to support the channel. Let's hop right into the video. By the way, the background gameplay in this video is just random old gameplay of me playing when I'm about level 100. So what does it take to get level 100 in Crunker? Just to start off, we know it takes 11,111,012 XP. That is the total amount of XP from level 1 to level 100 that it takes to get to level 100. And at least in my experience, it took me 3,708 games to get level 100. And if we divide the games that I played by the XP needed, we get about 3,000 XP. So I averaged about 3,000 XP per game. Now obviously there's some games I get 100 points, there's some games I get 7,000 points, it really varies. But just to break it down very basically, I averaged about 3,000 score. Now we also know that Crunker games can only be 4 minutes long. And obviously, usually games don't start popping until about 3 minutes and 30 seconds, and sometimes you join late. But to make this video very simple, we're just going to say Crunker games are 4 minutes long. So if we take the amount of games I played and times it by 4 minutes, we get 14,832 minutes. And 14,832 minutes turns into 247 hours, and there's 24 hours in a day, so 247 hours is about 10 days long. So at least in my experience, in my averages, I got about 3,000 XP per game, it took me 3,708 games to get level 100, and it took me 247 hours or 10 days to get there. Now that isn't just a week plus 3 days, that is 10 days of play time. So I spent literally 10 days of my life playing Crunker to get level 100. I want to make that clear real quick, it wasn't just 10 days later after I started my account I hit level 100, it was 10 days of in-game play time that got me to level 100. Which is honestly pretty crazy to think about. But level 100 is a very high level, so it does make sense that it takes that long to get to level 100. I just wish there was more of a reward at level 100 because you get stuff at like 15, 25, 50, but at level 100 you get literally nothing. Except, you know, your level's 100. So that's how long it took me to get level 100. And by the way, I saw all the stats in my menu when I hit level 100 and I wrote them down. So that's how I know how many games I played and etc. And that's how I did the math. But now we're going to be talking about some lower averages that maybe you guys would be getting to get level 100. Now, like I said, I got about 3,000 XP per game and as we mentioned that wasn't totally honest there's some games i got 8,000 scores some games i got 25 points it really all just depends but to average it out it was about 3,000. so let's just say that you average 2,000 points per game and that we still know it takes 11,111,012 xp to get level 100. if you take the total amount of xp needed for level 100 and divide it by your average which was 2,000 in this instance it should take you 5,555 games to get level 100. And as we just mentioned, we know that Crunker games are about four minutes long. So if we take 5,555, which is the amount of games that we've played, and times it by four minutes, we get about 22,220 minutes, which evens out about 370 hours. And 370 hours converted into days is 15 days. Are you starting to get it a little bit? So to go even lower, let's just say that you average 1,000 XP per game. And we know it takes 11,111,012,000 XP. So if we take the total amount of XP divided by the XP we average, we should get about 11,111 games. And 11,111 games times 4 is 44,444 minutes. 
and 44,444 minutes into hours is 740 hours, which evens out to about 30 days of game time. And like I said earlier, this isn't just 30 days after you make your account, this is 30 days of playing the game. So just to make this clear, if you average 1,000 XP, it's going to take you 11,111 games to get to level 100. If you average 2,000 XP, it's going to take you 5,555 games to get to level 100. And if you average 3,000 XP, it's going to take you 3,708 games to get to level 100 like it did me. And for some reason, if you're just an absolute god who averages four, five, six, seven thousand XP per game, you could do the math on that from this equation that we've talked about. So I think it's absolutely crazy how easy it is to break this down. This is starting to make me feel like a math genius, but then again, it's just basic math. But it really is crazy to see how long it could take to get to level 100, especially with no reward. I feel like there should be just something, something out there at level 100 that you get. And I know it's a long term thing. I know it's an end game thing, but I really, truly feel like there should be a reward for level 100. It's like one of the biggest achievements you can get in Krunker. But now we're going to be talking about the fastest way you could hit level 100. And I'm not just talking about tips and tricks to get to level 100 easier. I'm talking about the literal fastest way you could reach level 100. So as we know, it takes 11 million, 111 and 12,000 XP to get to level 100. And you guys might just be thinking, just get that amount of XP in a game, right? First of all, that would take probably about forever. And fun fact, I don't know if you guys knew this, you can only get 13,000 score per game. Now, I don't know if they've changed it since then, and I don't know if the, the score technically keeps on counting past 13, but at least on the scoreboard and at the end of the game, you can only get up to 13,000 XP. We know this because Eternity used to exploit on the old Kanji to get like eight nukes or something like that, and his XP only maxed out at 13,000, even though he was still getting nukes and kills afterwards. So that's a nice base to set. You can only get 13,000 XP per game. Game, which I don't think anyone's ever done legit. I've seen like 8,000 score a game, 9,000 score a game, maybe even 10,000 score games, but I don't think I've seen a single person actually playing in a real lobby get 13,000 XP. I think my highest is like high seven, maybe 8,000. So if we take the amount of XP that you can earn max a game and divide it by the total amount of XP needed, you can see that it takes 855 games of Krunker getting the max amount of XP to get to level 100. And once again, we know that Krunker games only last about four minutes. So if we take 855 games and times it by four minutes, we get about 3,420 minutes, which comes out to about 57 hours. And then that evens out to about 2.3 days. So the fastest amount of time possible that you can hit level 100 is 2.3 days of playtime. Now I want to reiterate, one last time, this isn't just starting your account in level 100. Even if you were getting 13,000 XP per game, it would still take you 2.3 days of active game time to hit level 100. Even getting the max amount of XP possible per game, it would still take you 57 hours or 2.3 days and 855 games, which is quite a lot. I don't know. I just thought this would be a really cool video to make for you guys. I know a lot of people want to hit a level 100, but there's really not a reward for it. But I know a lot of people get discouraged about halfway from 50 to 100, just because it takes a long time to level up in this game. But now you know exactly how much it takes to get to level 100. And also I did go to numerous people to try to help me get this all fact checked. And to everyone it made sense, but like I said, the very beginning of this video, if some of these numbers are off, I'm sorry. But one of the people I asked, Mommies, actually did give me a few other stats that I thought that were interesting. And I'll go ahead and throw his thought process up right now. He went a little bit more technical than me. I'll have it up on screen, so I'm not gonna go over everything we've went over 36 times this video. But he was saying that there's 24 hours a day, which is 1,440 minutes. 1,440 minutes divided by four minutes per match is 360. So you can only play 360 matches a day and 360 matches a day times 3,000 XP per match is a million and 80,000 XP per day, which if you did get that, it would take you about 10.2 days to get to level 100. As we talked about earlier, it's really cool to see everything kind of even out. So we did get the same outcome. He just went a little bit more technical with it, which I like. So he went a little bit more into depth and I'll, I'll have it on the screen. But if you guys did not know, at the end of each game, it takes 20 seconds for the next game to start. So we take 360 matches time 20 seconds in between each game. It's 7,200 seconds, 7,200 seconds divided by 60 for a minute is 120 minutes, which equals two hours. So in a day, technically there's actually, if you play 24 seven, two hours of game time that you're just looking at the end game screen. And obviously that changes the numbers quite a bit because we could do 10 times two, because that's how many days it took me to get the level hundred. And I technically wasted maybe 20 hours of my life looking at this in game screen. But this video is just to show you what it takes to get to level 100. And now we know. Now, obviously, I have work to do. You guys have school and jobs to do. So we're not just going to sit here for 10 days straight and hit level 100. It might take you a whole year of playing Krunker before you get there. But I bet if you look at your in game time when you hit level 100, you'll have about 10 ish days. Maybe a little bit more if you average less XP. 
thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is a lot of a different type of video, but I really thought these stats were really cool. And I thought it was something I should spread around and it might interest you guys for a little bit. And I really hope all these numbers in this video are right. Because I, I kind of, I don't know. I, I, I'm bad at math. <laughs> now, I could go on to make a, what it takes to hit level 200 in Crunker and 300 in Crunker. But A, I don't know those exact XP values. And B, if I did, you guys could just do the math like which I did on this video to get the same answer I would. However, I do have a few other interesting stat videos I might make in the future. But math is very scary, so I guess we'll just have to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, a comment, and also subscribe to this channel for more Crunker content like this. I upload Crunker every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so if you guys like Crunker and Crunker content alike, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications and never miss a Crunker video from your boy. By the way, if you're still watching, let me know what level you guys are in the comments down below. Like I said, I'm about a level 111-ish, but I hit level 100 back in July, so it's been like six months since I hit level 100. But let me know in the comments down below how close you guys are to level 100, and I hope this video was informative and helpful. Helpful. I, I'm feeling pretty smart today. <laughs> I do basic math once and I think I'm just a math magician. Is that a word? I think I'm good at math. But I think that about does it for what it takes to get level 100 in Crunker. Now we know. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And as always, it's been your boy CJ or Sorable. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.